naglalabasan ngayon sa social media ang mga negatibong comment about sa NBA Dream ni Kai Soto. Pero, isa sa pinakamalaking balita na hindi na malayan ng lahat ay ang target ni Kai Soto na makapasok sa NBA sa 2024. At yan ang ating pag-uusapan in this video. This is Ginulat Ang Mundo 2.0. The future for him is bright. I mean, we're talking about a 21-year-old. Most top college players are coming out now when they're 22, 23, unless you're LeBron or Kobe or, you know, <laughs> the special uh, peeps of the world yeah. that come out. And the Luka Doncic. Isa sa pinakamalaking balita na nakaligtaan ng marami ay ang target ni Kai Soto at ng kanyang agent na Wasserman na next year makapasok na si Kai Soto sa NBA. How are you? How are things after working that deal with the Orlando Magic and the Summer League? How things been at since then, Tony? Ito ang tinutukan natin dahil dead serious ang Wasserman na dalhin si Kai Soto sa NBA. I think it's been outstanding. It's been a great journey and process for Kai. Um, as you know, bigs take longer to develop. We keep mentioning that and it's important to understand the body's got to big, get bigger, it's got to get stronger. You know, that's where we're at right now. At dahil dito ay naka-focus ngayon si Kai Soto sa pagpapalaki ng kanyang katawan in preparation sa kanyang target na makapasok sa NBA next year. Oh, Kai has went through a great opportunity um, over the last year to go to three NBA mini camps, go to Summer League with Orlando, and learn to uh, be an NBA coaching opportunity to play with NBA players, draft picks. Uh, so all this is going to do is just enhance his development. At baka mas lalo pang tatagal ang pagpapahinga ni Kai Soto dahil priority talaga ni Kai Soto ang NBA. At hindi pwede ma-jeopardize ang kanyang NBA dream kung maglararo na siya sa Hiroshima Dragonflies kaagad at hindi pa fully healed ang kanyang likod. Kaya mukhang nasa crossroad ngayon si Kai Soto. Pwede kasing ilalala ni Kai Soto ang kanyang injury, katulad ng ginawa niyan noong FIBA World Cup. Pero malaki ang risk na baka lumala ang injury at tuluyan ng maglaho ang kanyang NBA dream. Kaya, crucial dito ngayon ang suporta ng Hiroshima Dragonflies. Kung kailan, pwede nilang tulungan si Kai Soto sa kanyang rehabilitation at pagpapalakas. Kung hanggang kailan kayang mag-sacrifice ng Hiroshima Dragonflies para mag-totally heal muna si Kai Soto bago nila isasabak sa matinding bakbakan. Hopefully ay walang hangganan ang suporta ng Hiroshima Dragonflies sa NBA Dream ni Kai Soto. And hopefully rin magiging enough pa ang panahon ni Kai Soto between now and next summer na makuha niya ang tamang lakas at maibalik niya ang kanyang laro bago pa magka-injury. The good thing ay bata pa si Kai Soto, kaya mataas pa ang chances na maghilom ang kanyang injury at maipagpatuloy ang kanyang basketball journey. Again, hopefully ay makakuha ng NBA team si Kai Soto sa 2024 at hindi naaabot sa 2025. Samantala, si Jason Tatum ay uminit sa fourth quarter, helping the Celtics beat the Knicks. Bagaman, nagkaroon ng problema noong una sa kanyang three-point shots, missing seven out of eight, Tatum bounces back by making four in a row in the last eight minutes. Si Jason Tatum ay nagtala ng 35 points. Si Jalen Brown may 22 points. At merong 21 si Kristaps Porzingis nitong lunes ng gabi laban sa koponang nag-draft sa kanya upang pangunahan ang Boston Celtics sa 114 to 98 na panalo laban sa New York Knicks. Nagtala si Tatum ng 17 points sa fourth quarter kung saan binago ng Boston ang 91 to 88 na lamang patungo sa 17 points na kalamangan. 
After missing seven of his first eight three-point attempts, he hit four straight in the last eight minutes. One on a four-point play after the Knicks cut the deficit to three points. Si Jalen Brunson ay nagtala ng 26 points. At merong 25 points and 9 rebounds si Julius Randle para sa Knicks who had won 3 in a row since opening the season 2-4. Kabilang ang pagkatalo sa Boston sa kanilang opener. Wala si RJ Barrett sa Knicks who missed the second night of a back-to-back -back with a migraine headache. The Knicks led by 8 with 75 seconds left in the second quarter bago gumawa ng tatlong sunod-sunod na field goals ang Boston. Nagtapos ng huling 11 points ng kalahati at ibinaba ito sa 53-52 to sa 3-pointer ni Brown sa buzzer. Boston led by as many as 10 late in the third quarter. But the Knicks closed to 91-88 to nang tumira ng long three si Brunson with 8 minutes left. Sinagot ito ni Tatum ng isang step back three at nakuha ang foul. Nagbibigay sa Boston ng 95-88 to na kalamangan. Drew Holiday hit a three to make it a 10-point game. Holiday reached the 15,000-point milestone in his career with a three-pointer during the third quarter. Tatum was called for a technical for arguing about a foul call with about 5 minutes left in the game. On the other hand, Yanis and Cortese both achieved double-doubles, leading the Bucks to triumph over the Bulls. Damian Lillard's return to the lineup contributes to Milwaukee breaking a two-game losing streak. Si Yanis Antetokounmpo ay nagpakita ng magaling na performance na may 35 points and 11 rebounds. Habang si Bobby Portis ay nakamit din ang double-double sa 118 to 109 na panalo ng Milwaukee Bucks laban sa Chicago Bulls nitong lunes ng gabi. Milwaukee's Damian Lillard made a comeback after setting out two games with a calf injury, but struggled with his shooting, managing only three of 17 attempts and scoring 12 points. Ang box ay nakaharap sa dalawang pagkatalo sa mga laro na wala ang seven-time All-NBA guard. The Bulls played for the second consecutive night, securing a victory against the Detroit Pistons, 119 to 108 at home on Sunday. Si Bobby Portis ay nagtala ng kahangahangang performance na may season high na 19 points and 10 rebounds. In Milwaukee, Chris Middleton's 13-point contribution allowed him to surpass Michael Red, claiming the fifth spot on the Bucks' career scoring list. Milwaukee set the tone by scoring the game's initial 9 points and dominated Chicago with a 35-18 to lead in the opening period. Natapos ang quarter sa isang buzzer-beating 3-pointer ni Antetokounmpo, marking the 500th of his career. Chicago struggled, missing 16 of its first 19 field goal attempts.